Hey guys, Matt from Urban Survivalist, and uh, this is, I guess, a collection update. Basically, just me showing off some new stuff I got. Um, I would have liked to do an unboxing, but I didn't have time when the boxes arrived. So, now you get to see them pre-unpackaged. Um, in front of you, you're looking at some stuff that I've already had. This is the Cold Steel Urban Pal, the old style version from like the 80s or something. Uh, love that knife. And then this is my SOG TAC Auto. Um, if you guys remember the first time I showed this, I don't remember what video that was, I was telling you that this was the only auto I had and that I was trying to uh, get my hands on some others. So let's start off with that. We'll move this Urban Pal aside. I was on the hunt for automatic knives and I found some. The first one I got was this Piranha Bodyguard. Very fast little knife. <laughs> Made of S30V, if you can see that. Uh, it's very cool. The blade pretty much encloses inside the handle and then comes out the side. All of these are um, side folding autos, no out the fronts. Um, next up, we've got a Benchmade AFO, armed forces only. You can see it's got a bunch of wear on the clip. I traded this, it wasn't brand new or anything. Um, I love this one. I've been carrying it around a lot. Uh, you can see there's some wear on the tip also. But it's been working out great for me. I love this one. Um, the handles are super comfortable. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought they looked too thick, but they actually fit my hand really nicely. So I love this knife. And then lastly, for the autos, there is a Microtech LUT, which is very nice. This is my first Microtech, and I love it. It's brand new. Um, I traded for all these knives because I'm poor right now but very nice so let's see I was showing you this Urban Pal um, I've kind of been suddenly in love with all of the older Cold Steel models and so I got the opportunity to pick up this old Cold Steel Defender 2 push knife pull it out so Cold Steel still makes this model but it's got a different name and it's probably made in China you can see this one is made in Japan um, it's very comfortable much more comfortable than that uh, Benchmade CBK push dagger that I've got and then it's got this nice um, leather sheath got a clip on the back, you can clip that to your belt or to your boot or something. And then some tooling on the front. It's very nice, I love it. It's in great condition. I think it's from uh, 93. I might be wrong on that. But I love this. I love all these knives. And I thought I would show them off to you guys. So thanks for watching and I know it's been quite a while since we put up an actual review of something, so stay tuned for one of those eventually.